people working on their job are getting paid in exchange of work performed. And the first comes in our mind is money. Or someone you know gets paid the way they do. That is where the word compensation comes in. What is compensation? Why should we care about compensation? More important, does it matter how much and how these people get paid? So now, we are going to discuss about the pay model. The meaning of compensation depends on how people view compensation affects how they behave. It doesn't mean the something to everyone. Let's begin by recognizing different perspectives. Society Some people see pay as a measure of justice. Stockholders Stockholders are also interested in how employees are paid. Some believe that using stock to pay employees creates a sense of ownership that will improve performance which will in turn increase stockholder wealth. Managers For managers, compensation influence their success in two ways. First, it is a major expense. Competitive pressures, both global and local, force managers to consider the affordability of their compensation decisions. On the other hand, rather than trading pay only as expense to be minimized, a manager can also use it to influence employee behaviors and to improve organization's performance. Employees The pay individuals receive in return for the work they perform is usually the major source of their financial security. Pay plays a vital role in a person's economic and social well-being. Pay can affect motivation together with employee ability and determines employee behavior such as performance. This effect of pay refers to an incentive effect. Compensation refers to all forms of financial returns and tangible services and benefits employees receive as part of an employment relationship. In total returns, an employee expects something to receive when they work, and there are varieties of returns employee received. First is the total compensation, which considered to be the biggest factor in choosing a job. Because total compensation includes the cash and benefits. Cash can be in the form of base, merit or cost of living, short-term incentives, and long-term incentives. Also, under total compensation is the benefits, which can be in the form of income, work or life balance, and allowances. The second variety of return, or let's say another form of pay, is a relational return. It is more on psychological because it includes recognition and status, employment security, challenging work, and learning opportunities. Therefore, pay comes in different forms and programs. Good day everyone. I am Carla May Anabeza and I will be discussing the pay model. What is the pay model of compensation? 
The pay model of compensation and benefits helps managers to structurally design and understand the compensation system for their employees. The model consists of three main components, first, compensation objectives. Second, policies that form the foundation of the compensation system and last, techniques that make up the compensation system. As we all know the compensation includes the basic salary as well as rewards in the form of bonuses, overtime, leave, insurance, company car, expense account, and other benefits. Not all compensation models are alike. Some plans put the emphasis on the basic salary, while others are more focused on using performance incentives. The compensation model that an organization uses should match the company objectives. This can help determine which plan is the most beneficial in the long term. Next, pay model of compensation objectives, the compensation systems, according to the pay model of compensation, are developed to achieve organizational objectives. As shown in the image, these include efficiency, fairness, compliance, and ethics. Efficiency can be stated more specifically the improving performance, increasing quality, delighting customers and stockholders and the controlling costs. Fairness refers to designing and introducing a reward system that rewards performance and meets the needs of the employees. Fairness is the foundation for healthy work relationships, which means it's important that employees are treated fairly and get a salary that matches the work they do. Next, compliance, compensation models have to conform to the requirements of various central and national salary legislation and regulations. Conforming with regulations is an integral part of any organization that wants to act in accordance with the law. When laws change, the compensation system has to be changed as well. Last, we have the ethics, it means the organization cares about how its results are achieved. It is not about the efficiency versus fairness, versus, compliance, rather, it is all three simultaneously and all three must be achieved. Next, we have the four policy choices. According to the pay model of compensation, the compensation system has to relate, internal alignment, competitive performance, and the employee contribution. So these are the four pillars of which the policy of a compensation structured is based. First, we have the internal alignment, it is refers to aligning the salaries for similar types of jobs, as well as the rewarding of different kinds of work. Positions are assessed on their relative contribution to the organization's objectives. If the compensation structured is seen as fair by the employees, it will help to motivate employees to improve themselves and accept training. Second, we have competitive performance, it is about the remuneration plan being competitive enough compared to what competitors are offering. The plan has to offer sufficient benefits for the potential employee to get them interested and keep them. The salaries can't be too high either as that would negatively impact competitives of the products and services. The employee contribution, it is about how important the performances of the employees is regarding the remuneration model. Strong employee contributions means the incentives and rewards are based on what the employees add. Last, we have the management. The final component of the four policy methods of the pay model compensation is the administration, managing the compensation structured. Efficiency is the goal here as well. The system has to work well enough to achieve the objectives and it's also need to adoptable to react to new requirements, new requirements, new regulations of the new salary objectives for the organizations. Pay model of compensation techniques. This is the third components of the pay model of compensation are the techniques. This techniques connect policy to objectives in order to comply with internal alignment as the model shows the techniques are skills and work analysis. In order to meet the competition policy, surveys can be held and market definition can be created. The employee contribution is asses based on performance guidelines. When managing this remuneration plans, communication and change are important factors. That's all everyone. Thank you for listening and I hope it will help you to understand more about the pay model.